that the divide between what's analog and what's digital is starting to merge. Our physical world is so unimaginably rich in texture and in depth, but until very recently our digital experiences for the most part have been limited to flat 2D impressions of reality. Today innovative technologies like 3D printing, WebGL, virtual reality and augmented reality are all redefining the ways we can experience and recreate the world around us. So what do all of these revolutionary technologies have in common? They all require high quality 3D digital models. What does it take to make a 3D digital model? You can create a model from scratch, geometrically constructing it by extruding and revolving with nerves, meshes, splines and solids. It's a laborious process requiring complex software and high-end knowledge. Alternatively, you can capture the analog world as it exists. This can be achieved with specialized 3D scanners, but this type of hardware is prohibitively expensive and also requires immense technical expertise. Every day, technology is becoming more accessible and easier to use, but the difficulty of generating high-quality 3D assets has kept this trend out of the world of 3D. Until now. A new process called photogrammetry utilizes state-of-the-art algorithms to convert regular 2D photos directly into 3D data. With smart sensors that are now ubiquitous and new software that is exceptionally easy to use, anyone with access to a modern smartphone or a camera can now capture and create a high-quality, ready-to-use 3D digital model. What stories can be told when we can all digitize the world around us? For artists, being able to easily capture, modify, and recreate physical assets opens up a universe of possibilities. When we can sculpt any object, environment, or living thing, the entire world becomes clay in our hands. For marine biologists, it's helping them better understand the world's ever-changing oceans. For the first time ever, using photogrammetry, Scientists can measure coral reef systems with astonishing accuracy. Not only does this enable us to document the state of existing corals, but with repeated scanning, we can actually observe ecological changes as they happen over time. The Buddhas of Bamiyan in Afghanistan were glorious statues carved into a massive cliff over a thousand years ago. In 2001, they were destroyed forever when they were dynamited in an act of religious extremism. Like so many times in our history, an invaluable piece of human heritage had been lost. Except this time, we decided to search for the lost statues in a place that previously nobody would have ever thought to look. The web. Between Facebook, Flickr and Google Images, there are thousands of photos of the Bamiyan Buddhas taken by tourists through the decades and from almost every possible angle. Using photogrammetry and hundreds of these crowdsourced images, a team was able to digitally reconstruct the Bamiyan Buddhas in a gloriously detailed 3D replica, one which now celebrates the story of humanity, of all of us together preserving a vital legacy for future generations. In the near future, we will be able to digitize our entire planet as it exists in every moment. This four-dimensional impression of our world will enable future generations to literally scroll back and see what was really going on in this particular part of the world at that time. We'll digitize ourselves as well, giving our great-great-grandchildren the chance to see us the way we were when we were their age. By being able to better document our achievements, as well as our mistakes, we will help new generations build a future for themselves that we can't even imagine. Some stories are simply too big to be told by one person or one group of people. From passive listeners to active participants, we all have the power to take initiative in this frontier of democratized capture and creation. We're able to connect dots differently, to find deeper meanings in the patterns that emerge, and consequently, we're able to begin asking better questions. 
these new stories can be experienced differently in all parallel ways, across time, across geography, across cultures. And most importantly, these stories will mean so much more to us because we were part of their creation in the first place.